In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some waveforms with Audacity, so let's go. First, we want to go to Tracks, Add New, and I want to do Mono because it's easiest. Now I'm going to do this, so go Generate, I want to do Tone, and the default is Sign, but I want to make it Square because it's easiest mathematically. I also want to go to Samples because, you know, I want things to be precise. Okay, so now I'm going to do 20... 220 and a half hertz because right now it's the same as that 44,100 and to get a 200 samples long I have to have a this frequency so now it's okay and I'm not going to play because there's no way to loop this very short sample so I'll play later but yeah this is a square wave so the next one I'm going to make is solitude so I can just do this go back to square and I'm going to select from here I'm going to select just exactly halfway so 100 samples I'm going to copy by control V control C and then I'm going to paste it over here, and then I'm going to paste it here, and then um, I actually want to select this to half of this, which would be at 50 samples. It says right here. So, go to fade out, and now I can do this right here from 50 to 50. Well, sorry, 50 to 100, but it says that right here. So now I'm going to go to effect and then fade in. I also want to invert. And there's a saw tooth right here. Also, I mean, this is kind of weird right there. Oh well. Anyways, select this whole thing right here. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna paste it right here. Every time I paste it though, this black thing appears on the click on to get rid of it. I don't know why it's there. Anyways, so now the next one I'm gonna make it a triangle, so I'm going to go to add new track again. Now, I did do journey for a square wave, and that's because I need to in order to get, you know, the square wave though, like the DC offset, since I can't do that. And there's solitude, but here's the problem with it. After I make it this again and 200. Yeah, so two problems. One, it starts at the wrong phase. It's supposed to start on the maximum volume, you know, where it interchanges volume like this. But here it starts on the center line, and that's just incorrect because it says squares don't start like that. Why does solid have to start like that? Like, there's no benefits of starting like this. So, if I did like this, I would just cut, and then I would paste it right here. But since I already have the solid right here, I don't need to anymore. Also, the second thing is that this is the same pitch as this, which is fine, but. If you want to go natural, you need to be like higher like this one. Oops, I don't want to select all that. Okay, I want to select just this right here. I'm going to copy. Actually, yes, I want to copy all this right here. And then I'm going to paste it right here. Like so. So all I have to do to make it go to try wave is just like the second half, like this. And then I want to go to effect and invert. And now it's a triangle wave. Okay, so now I can go ahead and just make a new track. This time I'm making a parabola wave like this. So all I have to do is first select the first half of this one and then go to fade out. And now I'll select from here to here. I actually want to have this first invert, and I want to have it fade in, and there's a parabola. And because of this second half being sawtooth, when it shouldn't be in this case, I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to paste it, um, let's see, right, like this. So there's your parabola wave. I'll make one more wave from now, and that's going to be this. So that's going to, you know, require a new track. And with this one, I have to go to generate tone to get a sine wave because it's possible to otherwise get it. Okay, so now you have your basic square, sawtooth, triangle, parabola, and sine waves. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so now, obviously, if I were to play it right now, here's what it sounds like. It didn't even play at all. Yeah, I'm not playing anything at all, so that's why it's like way too short. 
So what I have to do is this. So I have to select everything here and then copy this and go to the very end like this. And then I have to hold shift and then do all five of these to paste it here. And of course, get rid of this black thing right here because I don't know why it's like that. If I play it now, it's like this once I go to the beginning. Yeah, it doesn't play anything still. And I would continue the process, but I don't think I'm on board with that, so I'll be back. Okay, I fixed the audio problem, so here's what's like now. Yeah, very loud, so I'll be back. Okay, so now I made it so it's about a second long, but I'm not going to play the whole thing right now because there will be five playing at once. What I'm going to do is just do one by one. So, first, um, prepare for very loud volume because this will be loud. So, here's a square wave. Here's Sawtooth. And then here's Triangle. Here's Parabola. And then here's Sign. So that's your five basic waveforms. So a cool thing is this. So what I can do is, actually, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna select, well, just this right here. Yeah, I double click to do that. And I'm actually gonna make this half the volume. To do that, I have to go to Amplify. To make it like a half though, the problem is, it's in decibels and that doesn't help at all. So what you have to do is, Go to a calculator, any calculator will work, as long as it has, you know, like this out here or this. So I do 0.5 and then click on this. So that's not right. Okay, 0.5, click on this, and then multiply by 20, and then copy this number. And that's where you paste it, and now press OK. And now it's exactly half the volume. Now it's exactly half the volume. So now I'm gonna do everything here. That same exact way, just go to effect and then go to amplify, paste the same number in here, and now here's why I did that. So, about to mute just these three right here. So, here's the salt within square playing together once. So, yeah, you get an octave lower version of this, or in, in this case, you get this, but at this pitch, and I'll still the volume. So now, if I were to do the same thing with the triangle and parabola, and because it's half the volume, just so it work, here's what it sounds like. So yeah, so that makes this, but this pitch, and also, well, I'm not sure it's double the volume or like four thirds, but it's loud though. So that shows you that a parabola wave is actually a triangle wave if it has all homologs, not only odd, just like solid waves are the same as square except that they also have the all homologs series while square and triangle have only odd. Let me undo this first though. Okay, and then let's just play from, you know, just triangle and square. So if I do this, actually I might want to do that, I need a solo. So here's a, comparison, here's a comparison between triangle and square. So here's square. And then here's triangle. So yeah, that's auto marks. Now here's sawtooth. And then here's parabola. You should also notice that the square and sawtooth, they have a harsh, buzzy sound and it's quite loud. While the other two is, well, soft sounding. So that's it for the basic waveform, so that's it.